Folks. Oh, God. Morning. See that? We're back in action. If you've seen one of my last videos, brand new mug. Dropped it. I didn't drop it. Uh, kind of part of the whole van life of production. I forgot it was on the counter, took a turn. Boop. On the floor, bro. Uh, a little JB Weld for the win. Um, it doesn't feel that strong. But it hasn't dropped yet. And there's not coffee in it yet. There's tea in it. So... There's a hot beverage. It hasn't lost its hold quite yet. Um, going to get a little breakfast going here. This is going to be a multi-part situation going on. Because um, I don't have that much space on my phone. I can only video for so long until it yells at me. Um, yeah. If I could do it all over... What would I change? That's what we're talking about. Um, kind of like, uh, yeah, I mean, just if I had a redo, what would I, what would I change? Um, there's a couple things, not too many. Yeah, not too many. Um, let's start off. With I would change how I approached it. Um, I didn't take this thing out on any trips. Like not a single one. I think I drove it. Like I drove it from the dealership to the house. And then the next day I like drove it to go get things. Insulation and... <sighs> Reflectix and this and that and like stuff. Um, I did use it as like a a truck a few times, but I never like never took like a fun trip in it. Never did that um, before it was like done. I think I I drove it a few times um, because I had sold my truck to get this. Um, so I had my little race car, which did really freaking good in the snow for what it was, but there was some days I wanted four wheel drive. Um, but other than that, I guess I never took like fun trips and I never went out for a weekend to camp in it to, you know, test it out. Um, see, Hey, do I want to sleep in the back? Do I want to sleep this way or that way? la di da di da Um, here I am jibber jabbering again like I don't got to be nowhere. I need to cook breakfast. Uh, I wouldn't do that. Well, yeah, I wouldn't do what I did. I would definitely go out and see the practicality of some things. You know, um, yeah. Do I like coming to this side of the van to do dishes and things? Do I think this is a good spot for storage or should I put it over here? Yeah, stuff like that. Um, I should have done that. So that is something I would have approached differently. Um, but to get into just straight up what I would have done differently. The first thing I would have done different, insulation. Um, that is a topic that I lightly researched. Um, I should have done more. I should have done a whole lot more research, period. But with insulation, I got like a bad taste in my mouth because... I got this whole like paralysis by analysis thing. I was 
hemming and hawing over it for what felt like months. Um, it wasn't. It felt like that because I think at the time that I really started doing some research, um, the van was like in the state and like on its like final truck to the dealership. Um, I neglected to do a lot of research when I could have, should have, you know, like the normal time. Like, hey, I'm thinking about do this, like doing this. Let me research it now and see, number one, am I like kind of capable of doing that? And am I going to be able to afford to do that? Um, do some price research. Ba, ba, ba. I didn't do that. Oh, well. Um, insulation would have done it different. What I did do is I used the foam... Um, styrofoam the r uh r tech i think the it's the white styrofoam with the silver backing use that on most of the cavities i used pink i don't remember the i think that's maybe hd High density polystyrene or something? I don't know. It's a lot stronger. That pink stuff, the board, same thing. On the floor. I have inch and a half or two inch inside of all of the cavities of the van. And then I have a I have my furring strips and then I took a half inch sheet and laid it the entire length. I don't know if y'all saw that. I, you should be able to see that. It's like right near me. Ghost. Um, showered yesterday. That felt good. It was fucking cold because it's windy. But, oh well. Um... Back on track, back on track. So I have that half inch sheet going the full length. Um, so I have, I don't wanna say two layers, but there's obviously air gaps and whatnot, and gaps with the inserts that I put into the panels. Um, so I covered it with that. Everything's held in with either 3M like adhesive or great stuff. I use a lot of cans of great stuff. Um, looking back at it, I 100% should have spent the money and got the like professional grade one with the removable cap and the cleaner and whatnot. Because I went through probably, I don't know. 30 or 40 cans, you know, and I use the flexible stuff, um, their windows and door sealer, so it kind of has some give. Um, and then I went with, what's the name of that stuff? Rock wool. Um, in some... There's a rib right up here that has a bunch of holes, circular holes in it. I did my best to stuff a bunch in there and use like a coat hanger to, you know, move it down and stuff. Um, yeah, so that is what I did. I'm trying to think. Oh, and then the white stuff, same thing on the ceiling. Um, yeah, the white styrofoam board is on the ceiling. So, what I would have done was found somebody in Alaska, because I know that I know there's somebody that does it. There's guaranteed to, because I guarantee houses do it, and, and cabins uh, for efficiency's sake. Spray foam. Um, I have already found with removing some bolts um, that there is moisture and corrosion happening between the walls um i don't think it's anything that's going to 
you know, it's not going to rot the side of the van off. Um, I am worried there are two, there were two like paint. Nope, but those aren't holes. Scratch that. We're not even going to get on that topic. Um, I don't think it's going to make the sidewalls fall off the van. It's not going to. Uh, they're, they're primered on the inside. Um, yeah, but I guess where I'm going with that is <clears throat> there is a distinct, um, lack of like thermal separation, you know, like the insulation is not doing, um, as good of a job keeping the heat, you know, in as it should, you know, it's some heat is sneaking by. It's getting to the cavity between the actual skin of the outside of the van and the back side of the insulation. And it's then causing the two differences in temperature, condensation. That's what's causing moisture and rust on some of the ends of the bolts. Um, again, don't think it's the end of the world, but I mean, if I could do it again, why not not have that happen? Um, that would probably be a good thing to not have happen, right? Um, plus, uh, yeah, I mean, this thing holds heat fairly well. Um, it doesn't do too, too bad. Man, it's smoky in here now. Oh, well. Oh, that was open all night. Yeah, it holds heat pretty well, not the best. Um, but I mean, in reality, even with spray foam, you're not gonna get anything like super, super, super like awesome because you're in a fucking metal box. Like, just ain't gonna happen. Spray foam, I think could, you know, help that. But I mean, it's, it's not gonna be a, a cure-all. Um, the reason I didn't go with that, the limited research I was doing, um, there was some folks that, you know, found a company or found someone to spray foam their van. Um, and I think whoever did it, I don't know. This is straight assumption, which I shouldn't assume. Um, but the person doing it just didn't understand how to do it um, and the consequences of certain things. So that spray foam stuff, it comes out as like a urethane. Um, it's sprayed on, it expands like greatly. Uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, there's different um, degrees of expansion, depending on probably the brand, the amount of the R value of that insulation, this and that and the other thing. Um, so, <clears throat> what happened was people had it done and it ended up popping the skin of the van, the interior skeleton, the ribs and uh, stamp out panels. They're like, they're glued to the actual outside skin and the ribs and whatnot give it its structure. Um, just like your body and the skin is just like, just like covering, but it's, it's held close and has that rigidity from the ribs. And it's it's not welded, it's not bolted, it's it's like like some type of epoxy or body glue, whatever, and it it can pop off. So what people had happen is whoever was spray foaming, you know, they'd fill a cavity, and it the spray foam was stronger than that glue, and it popped the skin off the rib of the van, and then essentially you just got this wonky, wavy sheet metal sided van. Not the end of the world, but definitely not great. It it shouldn't structurally do anything. It might, I don't know, but it might wobble in the wind. I don't know. But that was like scary. I already was gonna be cutting, like cutting holes in a brand new, you know, I think the van was like $65,000. Um, and it was not even mine, still the bank owns it. Like, um, Yeah, I was already nervous. And then reading reading the little bit on those, so I was like, 
that whole paralysis by analysis thing. I was like, ah, oh, should I do it? Uh, blah, blah, blah. You know, what I should have done was research Alaska, find out, talk to some folks. Hey, do you think this is doable? Like, do you see a problem with this? Would you fill the cavity so much? Or are you aware like of the expansion rate of your foam? Like I should have just asked questions instead of just, nope, not a good idea. Like, I don't want to risk it, blah, blah, blah. You know, like maybe they've done it. Maybe they've done, you know, shipping container homes up in Alaska and had a similar scenario. Like, I don't know, but I should have asked. Um, because my man Royce up in Fairbanks, he did his own spray foam. Um, and man, that thing, number one, quiet as fuck. Um, the road noise on that thing is like minimal, uh, because I mean, it's essentially completely sound end, like 360, um, 360 this way. Not this way. I can't check the time and I can't go off on this tangent. But like, you say 360, like it's implied of like a 2D circle. Is there a number for a sphere? Like a 3D sphere, like <laughs> live action. That just happened. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Holy smokes. Insulation, folks. Wow. Yeah. So I w <laughs> I can't even get back on topic. I would have spray foamed, would have found somebody to do it. Um I think it would have overall been a much better solution to insulating my van, especially because I'm a winter activity kind of person. Um, love snowboarding. Um, love snowboarding. Love snowboarding. It needs to be cold. needs to be snowy uh, to do that. So, yeah. With that, that is the first thing I would change. Um, I would find a way or someone, or I would have paid Royce if I knew before I did my installation. Uh, yeah, I would have, I would have done that. That is something I would have changed. So, That's part one. Up next, part two. I'm not telling you what the other thing would have been. Come on. All right, later.